Chad Hastings back again and in this video, video number three, we're going to look at saving your finished theme. In other words, we're going to download it now to the computer so that you can then upload it to your various blogs. Now that your masterpiece is finished, it's time to get it on to your computer. Up at the top is an export link. There's a drop down menu just to the right of it. If you click that, you'll see there's some options here. Clicking that link opens up a screen where you can put in some information. You can assign your name to this, you can put a URL in it, and uh, some other information that you can put in uh, that will kind of uh, brand this as a, a video made by you. Okay. Once that's filled out, <clears throat> go back and click on export. the drop down menu again and now you've got two choices you can save it as an HTML uh, a template or you can save it as WordPress let's click on WordPress and now you're going to give it a name and uh, let's just call this test 4 okay and then you can decide where you want to save it this one uh, will be saved in uh, my documents folder um, in an Artistier folder, templates, Artistier templates. Okay. Uh, export as a folder, or you can export it as a zip archive, either one. Now, if you export it as a zip archive, uh, you know that you can upload it in the dashboard of your blog. If you export it as a folder, you'll have to use FTP, so the choice is yours. Let's go ahead and click on the link, and very quickly you'll see that it's, uh, it is uh, finished downloading. Let's go back and download a copy as a zip file also, so we can show you two different ways to upload it. WordPress again, zip archive, we'll call this test5, and that should finish that. Let's quickly take a look at how you can upload these themes uh, to your blog. Here's a, a new blog, there's really nothing on it yet, but uh, let me log into the uh, dashboard here. Once in the dashboard, we'll go to Appearance and the Themes, and you'll see there's only one theme in here. It's a default theme that comes with the new version of uh, WordPress. So let's go to Install Themes and then click on upload because I've got this on my computer and then I'm going to browse to the folder where I've got it remember we made a zip folder we made it test number five we'll open that install activate and let's go back and now you see this is the theme that we made Okay and you see how everything was removed from this until we start adding uh, our own uh, material okay now let's take a look at how you would uh, do the same thing with FTP now let's take a look at using FTP to upload the uh, theme that we saved as a folder okay we're going to log into a that same blog that I showed you a few minutes ago using an FTP program I put it in a folder called blog, get the content, go to themes, okay, and now you can see that the test 5 is in there, that's the one that we uploaded as a zip file. Now I'm going to go to my folder where I saved these and we're going to find the test 4, I hope. Okay, I've located the, the folder. This is the folder that we downloaded from Artistier. I just highlight it, and now I'm going to move it over into the uh, themes section. And as soon as that's done, we'll go back to the site and activate it. That's finished now. Let's go back to the site. Back in the dashboard of the uh, site, you'll see that uh, what's on here now is uh, because I deleted the one that we uploaded with the zip file, and that, that brought the, the uh, default theme up. And now here's the theme we just uploaded with FTP. 
click on activate go back out and take a look and there it is so you can see with the files from artist here they're just they just make a standard uh, WordPress theme that you can upload as a zip file or you can upload using FTP so that completes this video and in the next video we'll work a little bit on making a simple header